Hi everyone, my name is Tiffany from Fuzzy Roots and I thought I would do a quick greenhouse tour. So starting from the door where you would walk in, I have a sport monstera that is giving me a new leaf. Um, it's got a little bit of green and a little bit of yellow, but it's a sport so we're not exactly sure what's happening there. And then I've got a philodendron McDowell. And down here you'll see some Syngonium Panda, Syngonium Aurea, Syngonium Green Splash. I just love how they come out with this tiny touch of pink as they unfurl. They're absolutely gorgeous. I have my little variegated water lilies in here. I don't know if you can see them well. I'll try not to. I've got pink and like a greeny yellow. They're still babies. Then... I think this is supposed to be a Monstera, it's not a Tycon, I think this is, I think it was sold to me as a Tycon, but I don't think it's a Tycon, I think this is just a regular elbow, it might be large form though, not 100% sure. Then what I've got here is I've got some beautiful Syngonium Super Red, Pink Perfection, Pink Salmon, Strawberry Ice, I think, thank you to Jolene for correcting me, I think it's a Rai, Syngonium Rai, uh, some beautiful pink spots, I love the pink spots, they're just gorgeous. And at the back there, I think I have a pink spot mutation over there, and then this is a pink fleck, if I'm not mistaken. And at the bottom of this beautiful pole here, I have a white princess with pink so this is the third pink leaf um, she's given me this one she did was a bit unhappy because I repotted her onto a pole um, oh, I'm going a bit skewed there apologies but absolutely beautiful plants I'm hoping the pink will continue then this big boy over here just for size it's very hard my arms are short I can't, I can't do such a great size thing. But this is your, um, it's Diffenbachia Wilson's Millionaire. Look how gorgeous this new leaf is. It, it just, and it just goes. I mean, it's almost double what these little ones are. It has the most beautiful variegation. Then this is my Monstera Lechleriana. It needs a good feed. Um, it was a bit neglected, it's been chopped, hence its new leaves are still a bit small, it's not sizing up, but I'm going to try and leave it and get it to size up nicely. Then I think at the back here I have some Epipremnum marbles, and if I go around slowly this way, try to not knock anything over. I've got some Gargantium variegated. This is a jungle fever. A lot of my leaves need cleaning. That's a jungle fever pushing out a new leaf. Some more hoya. Some syngonium propagations. And then up here, more hoya. And at the very top, I think there's an El Choco. I think I've got an Aurea Monstera up there somewhere. This is a Red Congo. These guys are super cute. These are your philodendron Bill Marks Fantasies. I have a Tycon growing up here, as well as some Aglonemia that are doing all right in here. Yeah, they've got water. They're in um, Lekka. And on this side, that is a caramel marble with terrible variegation. So it's nothing to write home about. But um, it needs a few more chops to come right. If I bring you back down to eye level. On this side, I have a really pretty... This is your Marble Queen Potos. And this is a variegated Syngonium Angostatum. A philodendron bicolor with... Gosh, I'm on the right plot there. Tiny new growth points coming out. 
and I have a medium, medium variegated, which is more minty, philodendron tortons, beautiful cream splash, more syngonium rye. I think I'm butchering the name, but as we go, we go. And this is another large form Monstera. It had a bit of shipping damage. You can see some of the older leaves. But the new leaves are coming out beautiful. Just a bit smaller. It'll take a bit of time to size up again. Then on the side we have a few alocasias. Some new leaves popping out. Alocasias is going into winter now. So some of them are struggling. A Hoya. These are the Jacquelines doing okay. And this is some of my propagations for Red Anderson. These guys are just so cute. I absolutely love them. This one you can see it's given like a minty variegated leaf. And then it gave two or three green leaves. And then went a bit more. And look at that new leaf. It's absolutely gorgeous. And some more Tycon. This is Tycon and Lekka. And on this side, um, Adon Sony Mint Indonesian. This has got beautiful variegation on it. And I have a few more. That's the baby Tycon for the Mother's Day special. And there's my other absolute beauty. Let me go a little bit closer for you. This is a Monstera Sport as well. It's like a very dark with yellow variegation. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then here I have a few more alocasias. At the bottom it's some Anthurium propagations. And a bunch of Syngoniums. Tie constellations up here. I don't know if you can see well, I'm too short. And then a few other bits and pieces of propagations up here. And a few of my whipples, the whipple way. Oh, they are such rewarding plants. I wonder if I can show you what the whipples look like. So I'm going to use this little guy as an example. So the new leaves come out with this little bit of a pink pink tinge I hope it comes through and then the leaves go this white speckly color when it hardens off they are just absolutely gorgeous now not all the leaves stay like that um, let me see if I can give you this is another example this one you'll see some of the older leaves started like that and then they go a little bit more green, like this. But they'll start again with the white speckliness. It kind of alternates. So keep it in highlights, lots of feed. Um, but it is a bit random where it gives you an in-between. But they all come out with this like pink sheen on them. You see it's got beautiful pink undertones. When it comes out, it's absolutely gorgeous. One of my absolute favorites. I really love the whipple. And then here I have a little bit of Bill Marks. And this is a little bit of chaos down here. We've got the Monstera Esquilitos. And I have a Lupinum growing up a pole somewhere over there. And somewhere over there I have Chiapens, Syngonium Chiapens. Um, I've also got some tycons and some elbows in that direction down there. That's Scandapsis. If you ever want to know when Scandapsis needs a good watering, it looks like that. You'll see the leaves start to curl a bit. Once it's had a really good soaking, the leaves will pop out nice and, and plump again and they won't be so curled. And here is another marble and then on this side i have some adonsoni aurea that's adonsoni laniata variegated monstera mint um this is the new leaf it's still minting up For those of you that aren't new to mints um the leaves come out white like this 
and then they mint up so you'll see they'll get more minty with age as they go so don't panic if it gives you a white leaf it does that um, this is the Florida I need to stand back a little bit beautiful Florida um, it's nice and bushy got stunning variegation on it absolutely stunning variegation on it and then on this side I have a Raffida Fora SP sure this leaf is seriously upsized quite a bit um, yeah, it's a Raffida Fora SP it gives these little minty patches not quite sure what it is um, I'm going to grow it out and see what it does. I have another Aurea over here. Newest leaf, older leaf, new leaf coming out. And then this side, I think it's a variegated philodendron moonlight. This is a philodendron red moon, if I'm not mistaken. It's got the most beautiful yellow and red leaves. And when it comes out, the leaf goes more of a darker red. And the leaf, the yellow is more of like a neon yellow, and then to like a lime yellow and a darker green, maroonish, and then it goes down to green. Um, but absolutely very rewarding plant. And here is a anthurium, um, it's a bird's nest anthurium, I'm not 100% sure of its exact name. I know in Thailand they call it nine layers of luck. These are all the little baby mints with their name tags on them for their new homes. Um, they're nearly ready. They're doing very well, but nearly, nearly ready. I have some more Skindapsis, Syngonium Chia Pens, Raffidophora, more add-on Sonys. There's my really big add-on Sony elbow. I'm really trying to get her to upsize going up the pole and she's doing very well. I have another really big sectoral variegation um, large form monstera. The difference between large form and small form you will see is the internodal spacing. So this is very very close together and obviously you get the leaves get much much bigger over time. These are some skindapsis I've got. They're supposed to be black mamba snake skin and I think a tricolor but once you've cut a skindapsis it doesn't grow back the way you'd expect it's got to climb again to re-get the shape and the look that you originally were expecting so mm, takes a bit of time let's see if I can show you a nice example so that you can see is velvety and dark that is not but we'll see. I think it needs to climb, so that needs a bit of wire there. And then if I pan back this way, I'm going to try and not go too fast. Uh, let me go around. Sorry, there's plants everywhere. I've got to negotiate my way. We've done a few propagations here of barley Hanuman, Epipremnum barley Hanuman. This is a very, very white. Um, Monstera elbow. I want to do an entire video on Monstera elbow that is white um, and variegation in general. Another Skindapsis. And then down this row, this is an Aglaonemia Thai Siam something. And this is your Aglaonemia Manila Pride. This is an absolutely gorgeous plant. I absolutely love it. It gives such rewarding variegation. It's so easy. It's got two pups there. But it is really one of the most rewarding plants. Absolutely love it. Um, and then I've got Adon Sony's Domesticum. Spiritus. We can't forget the Spiritus growing so nicely there. More of these green splash with the pink undertone. That comes out. Beautiful Florida Beauty, half there. It's a Gigas. Some more Indonesian Mint Adonsoni. 
some more McDowell. And Harding down here, I have a Veritosum. And some Monstera Obliqua. There's a Pariso. This is just the Ultrasonic Mister. Another Pariso. There's supposed to be a Luxuriance somewhere in here. Some Alchocos. This is a nice big Domesticum I've got growing up here. I wonder if if I squeeze past pastas on them. If I squeeze in here. If you look on here, I've also got a variegated micans I'm trying to grow up here. And this is a Jose Bueno. More Domesticum. I have an Isomania doing over here. There's two in this pot. I've got a little itty bitty one and then a bit of a bigger one. And variegated violin that I'm hoping has not reverted. We'll see what the next leaf does. Philodendron Gilmark's Mint. And Cream Splash. So rewarding to put it up a pole. Just absolutely gorgeous going up a pole. More Indonesian mint. Sorry, some of my leaves are very dirty. They need a good wash. Uh, variegated hamelaminia. These are baby laniata cuttings. There's a lot of cuttings on this table. I have got... More, more Bill Marks Mint, Scandapsis. Um, I did a. This one is, is struggling a little bit since the last cut I gave it, so I'm hoping to see if that leaf opens a bit better. And more Syngoniums. Okay, the green splash is just gorgeous. Pink lava is also just gorgeous. Syngonium freckles, this is super red, um, gold illusion, the gold illusion is very pretty, uh, more confetti, there's another nice more confetti leaf, this is another, I tell you, these violins like to revert. They really, really like to revert, so I might have to cut this one. I want to see what the next leaf does. And some more Syngoniums on this side. Some beautiful Aurea Syngonium. Some more Gold Illusion. Pretty Gold Illusions. And if I move across this side. I have Raphidophora cuttings. These guys are not ready yet. This one seems to be going a little bit more minty than expected, but we'll see what happens. If it's stable or if it's just a leaf that does it. And yeah, there's a few more cuttings in here. Anthurium regal, struggling a little bit. Um, struggling a lot. Gosh, struggling a lot. I think it might need a repot. Um, Golden Dragon. These guys are very rewarding. I did a cut on this guy and the new growth is coming through nicely. And then, <clears throat> this is giving me a beautiful new leaf. This leaf is from a different pot. I'm going to see what's going on there. But this guy, I'm not quite sure what he is. I'm terrible at labeling my anthurium because philodendron I kind of I kind of know all my philodendron and monstera. This is a nice aurea. So mm, lots of work to be done labeling all my anthurium. A monkey tail cactus that just keeps going forever. And then this is my little anthurium table. Let's see, I've got some baby leaves coming out there. I need to improve my anthurium care at the moment. I think I'm just getting by. 
beautiful red type crystal again I need to go through my books and see what it was labeled at um, a lot of these I don't know I'm not sure I know that one the Warwickianum that new leaf is coming out very nicely the previous new leaf just butchered itself and we had to chop it but that one seems to be doing okay another new leaf over there and down here some more Hoya and propagations lots of Hoya got to get past all the Hoya new baby leaf I think that's also a red crystallinum I've got one or two of them more propagations and I think if I just go past slowly that is the end of my greenhouse tour just to give everybody a nice update on what I've been doing.